NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors and we are underway here in Arlington. And Dallas Flowers gonna bring this out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Calling a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here, third and a yard. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons showed off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. But defensively, you really can't script the start much better. You get a three and out and a sack. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. They kept him short of a first down on first and second down. And then on third down, they pick up a sack. What tremendous momentum for them to start this game. On fourth down, Minshew. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they wind up getting 13 there on fourth down. It's a gain of 13, and how about that? They're able to convert on fourth and 10. First and 10, Taylor now. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Second down, another run with Taylor. And this is going to be a Colts first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Now Minshew on first and ten. A quick throw, but incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featuring receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Taylor. And Taylor, I don't think he got there. No, he did not. Unable to break free, and he's marked short. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. Did they stop him? They did. 
He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. On first and ten, Prescott. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick. Go throw it up to the big guy, but you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is, you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game telling all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Second down and six now. Again, it's Taylor. They're only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Here's Minshew. That is caught. And he is going to have a Colts first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. The Colts on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 54 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run. And boy, they were successful. They'll run here with Taylor. And he'll get into the end zone. And touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Colts post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Shane Steichen, aggressive as a play caller. He's going to go for two here. And Minshew will throw for it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two, they don't get it. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go 
to those spots and get your offense moving. Brings up second and a yard at the 31 yard line. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Here's Prescott. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Dak, he's going to mix it up. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. They'll look to throw now on first down. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. First down, Prescott. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Swinging this out for Pollard. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. And again, it's Prescott. Pass complete to Jalen Toby. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. A first down throw for Prescott. Over the middle, complete. That's Ferguson. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. First and goal at the 7-yard line. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. This is caught. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Prescott yet again. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Pollard, and he is going to lose yardage here. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Well, they're going to try this thing. They're at the five, fourth and goal. They're going to go for it. We'll see run, probably pass to both in the arsenal. Looking to throw, Prescott. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The fourth down pass from the five falls incomplete. And this Colts defense comes up with a goal line stand. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Back to Taylor on first down. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. 
first half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. This taken in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly looking for Cooks and it's intercepted. Picked off by Juju Blintz. Up the middle, here's Taylor, down to about the 37. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 32. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A three-yard gain and enough for the first down. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. Down at the 25. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety and being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They go to the ground again with Taylor. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Minshew sets to throw. He's got the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he's not quite going to get to the marker. It'll be a gain of eight on third and 10. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Looking to throw it. Minshew. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Colts. Josh Downs. A seven-yard touchdown ground. And the Colts will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. They'll look to throw. That is caught. He's got it. And the lead will move to 14 to nothing. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Oh, good return up past the 30. Still going. One man to beat. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And that 
one makes it 14 to seven. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. This offense thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially to skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit, let them catch their breath. And they're going to speed things up here. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run once more with Taylor. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. They have not seen that much today. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Now Minshew. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are right back in this football game. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to put... And Prescott, his third interception. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. This defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. They have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering the receivers when they're in their zones. They didn't give up a touchdown in the first half. Haven't done so here in this half either. Blanket in the field going all the way back to the opening drive, and they come up with a pick right there. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 114 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. And quickly, they get to the line. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. And he got the yard down to 16. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it. As we come up on a big third down, no gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to perhaps salt this one away. And Gain knocks this one through, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now 
as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Here's first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Now Dak. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Julian Blake.